How much do you know about people seeking asylum? People seeking asylum are defined by the United Nations High Commission for Refugees as someone who is unable or unwilling to return to their country of origin owing to a well-founded fear of being persecuted for reasons of race, religion, nationality, membership of a particular social group or political opinion. Article 14 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights states that everyone has the right to seek asylum from persecution in other countries. So that means they've escaped unimaginable circumstances of conflict and persecution and waking each day in fear. Who could blame them for wanting to be safe? People seeking asylum are, like you and me, trying to make decisions based on what is best for their families, trying to stay safe and trying to earn a living. There are a lot of myths about people seeking asylum. Myth one, people seeking asylum aren't genuine refugees. Reality, according to the Australian Parliamentary Library, between 70 to 100% of people seeking asylum have typically been found to be refugees. There are about 30,000 people seeking asylum currently living in Australia. Myth two. People seeking asylum aren't legally allowed to work. Reality. In Australia, an asylum seeker is a person escaping persecution in their home country who has applied for a protection visa. Asylum seekers can work while they wait for a decision. Most will be granted temporary protection and can live and work in Australia for three to five years. Myth three. People seeking asylum don't speak or understand English. Reality. English levels vary from beginners to proficient. Plus, many people seeking asylum are very enthusiastic about continuing to learn English. Those that have been granted temporary protection have 510 hours of English classes. Myth four. Employing a person seeking asylum will make things complex for human resources. Reality. People seeking asylum were granted the legal right to work and study in 2014 and should be treated like any other job seeker. There is even a free government service called Visa Entitlement Verification Online, Vivo, which lets potential employers quickly make visa and identity checks. Myth five, people seeking asylum won't fit into the workplace and don't understand Australian culture. Reality, most asylum seekers have been living in Australia for more than five years now immersing themselves in our culture and the workforce. People seeking asylum really value being in Australia and the opportunities it offers. They want to be able to contribute to their new home, including earning a wage and being self-sufficient. Have you ever thought about employing a person seeking asylum? According to research conducted by the Brotherhood of St Lawrence, the Refugee Council of Australia and the Asylum Seeker Resource Centre, Hiring a person seeking asylum is a great move for your business because they are likely to be highly motivated to work, keen to learn new things, succeeding and proving themselves, keen to share their skills, experience, loyalty and commitment to your business. Asylum seekers are also highly motivated for employment as a pathway to permanent residency. Plus, people seeking asylum are often multilingual Introducing another language to your business can help your existing customers to communicate, introduce your business to a new community, and enrich your business environment. People seeking asylum can actually help to meet important skills gaps, because many are skilled in an occupation which is part of the register for general skilled migrants. Others can help meet labour shortages by filling lower skilled roles which can be hard to hire for. Right now, People seeking asylum are working in many industries from entry-level positions to a very senior level, like Hugh Van Ley, who has been Governor of South Australia since 2014. He came to Australia from Vietnam in 1977 on a refugee fishing boat. The benefits of giving someone seeking asylum a job don't stop at your business. By working, people seeking asylum are paying tax and contributing to the community which all goes to help build a better Australia.
People seeking asylum want to work and they enjoy it. Since seeking asylum in Australia, I've been hoping to find a job in biomedical science. Now I'm waiting for that, so I work doing what I can. I've mowed lawn, but now work as a bilingual support worker. I like giving back to my new country and starting a happy life. Mesa, 2017. If you haven't thought about employing a person seeking asylum, consider it next time you have a vacancy. In all likelihood, you'll be getting a great worker as well as helping another person.